All right, option number three, we're gonna be doing the same back take using our butterfly hook when someone's attacking the guillotine chair. So now, we're here, she secures her guillotine, same thing, left foot comes in as a hook. I wanna make sure you notice, I move her so she's loaded up on my hips. This hand can still grab the pants as needed, stomp up, big kick, we capture. Now from here, she still has her grip locked. What we're gonna do is keep the back of our head glued to the floor so we alleviate pressure of the choke and that actually breaks her grip. If you guys know how to shrug your shoulder and stay tight here, the further back you guys go, this turns into a little key lock, I'm sorry, a little chicken wing submission here. If her hand slips out, that puts you guys right back into the back leg. So last time. Just attacking the guillotine, tucking my chin, protecting my neck. Sneak in that butterfly hook first. We're gonna square up by loading her up on our hips. As I get ready to elevate, when you guys abandon this, we control the pants, kick it up. Factory. Now she still holds this because I can't turn up. I'm gonna start gluing the back of my head to the floor. As we do this, that puts so much tension on her shoulder and elbow that it breaks the grip. From here, you're welcome to stay here, keeping more pressure. It's gonna cause a little chicken wing submission. If she slips her hand out, that's great. Then we have the back take finish. All right, guys. So that's option number three. Uh, taking the back from the taxi guillotine from half guard.